Well, it's no secret that most of us don't think the dentist office is a fun place to be. Yeah, but I got to visit a place where not only do they create a relaxed atmosphere, they make sure all their littlest of patients are having a good time. Come with me as we take a trip to the fun kids dentist. All right, Molly, we're all ready for you. So, Dr. Angie, I was in the waiting room. Mm -hmm. I, there are tons of great toys. There are books. There's an aquarium. There's kids' movies playing on the TVs. This is a fun place to visit. Yes, it is. And uh, aside from the obvious uh, kid-geared furniture and decor, movies playing, um, depending on which day you're here, you might uh, experience one of our fun theme days. We just had a pajama day last week where all of our <laughs> staff and uh, some of our patients dressed up in their pajamas. We also have special uh, pediatric sized equipment instruments to make things like taking x-rays or receiving treatment and procedures easier for kids. All of the doctors and staff have a lot of extra training and many years of experience um, helping kids of all ages and all um, different types of dental backgrounds and special needs with becoming comfortable in the dental environment. I bet that gives parents a lot of comfort to know how highly trained your staff is. I think it certainly does. As pediatric dentists, we uh, go to two years of extra training in a program to become more familiar with kids' teeth, the procedures that they need, and also in managing kids and um, how they experience the dental environment and procedure specifically. What do you think is important about understanding that and that kids maybe have a different experience visiting the, the dentist than an mm -hmm. adult would? Well, you really need to approach uh, their first experiences with den the dental environment and procedures um, in a different way than an adult. Uh, use more kid-appropriate or kid-friendly terms and just be very gentle and delicate about how uh, you introduce them um, to these first experiences to make it fun and positive so that they build confidence and uh, become comfortable with the dental environment. Dr. Ed, this is such a comfortable room. It's quiet too. It's got coffee service. This would be a nice hangout, I would think, for parents as we would wait for our kids to be in the dental chair. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, if the parents don't wish to share the dental experience with their kids, they can come here, hang out in our coffee shop, have a cup of coffee. Uh, or on certain days we offer a chair massage by our massage therapist so they can relax while their kids are having fun. How do you help parents who are hesitant to bring their child for their first dental visit or kids who maybe seem a little hesitant? Well, that, that's all part of the job and, and one, of, one of the things we do is to create a relaxed atmosphere. We have an open, comfortable environment that helps kids to feel more relaxed. And the parents, I, I think, really pick on, up on that as well. It's not, it's not the dental office they are used to or remember. Uh, they're much more relaxed and at ease. What's the importance of an early dental visit? Because I know you encourage that at 18 months or even younger. Yeah, we, we recommend bringing kids in around the, their first birthday. And that's something we've been doing for quite some time. The reason for that is we're trying to see the kids about the time they're getting their first tooth in or they're just getting their earliest eruption of teeth. And we can also educate the parents at that time because uh, parents want to know what their responsibilities are and we're here to fulfill that. So we can see the child, assess their risk factors, and we can diagnose potential cavity problems early on, uh, orthodontic problems often as well. Speaking of cavities, they still exist, although you, it seems you hear fewer and fewer kids saying they have cavities. And is sugar still the main culprit? Uh, the problem is cavities and dental disease is a very complex uh, disease. So there are many factors involved. So sugar, yes, it's, it's a complicated process. Um, it's not how much sugar you eat, it's the frequency of sugar and any kind of food that is sticky, contains sugar, or is acidic, can contribute to your decay rate. So part of our job as, as a pediatric dentist at the Fun Kids is help to identify those risk factors early on. We urge parents to take 
control of those things that they can, such as diet and oral hygiene, and that way we're tipping the scales in favor of dental health. What's something a child might say or a parent might say to you that makes you feel good about what you do here at the Fun Kids? Uh, kids typically will say, gee, that was fun. And, and that, that's, that's telling us we're doing the right thing, I think. So cute. The Fun Kids Dentist is located on Blue Mound Road in Brookfield. They offer a complimentary well baby checkup for any kids 18 months old or younger. For more information or to schedule an appointment, you can call them at 262-786-1270 or visit them online at thefunkidsdentist.com. Um, they welcome kids to TIFF with special needs. Um, they really take the time. You can tour the office, meet the yeah. dentist, which helps them to be comfortable. And they see a lot of patients who are on the autism spectrum, which is wonderful because everybody needs de good dental care so yeah. it's wonderful that they have a knack for treating patients of all abilities yeah those big smiles said a lot exactly it's true